another great day to be live at the same time as Taylor Swift. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about money, money, money. This is a hot topic when it comes to being a content creator because I feel like a lot of people have this notion. I personally had this idea before I was a content creator. I was like, these people just take pretty pictures, they get paid for it, it's great, amazing, and they hardly have to work. <laughs> jokes on me. This is such an incredibly hard job because not only do you have to be creative, but you also have to be able to basically be a business owner and treat this as a business. And a big part of that is figuring out how to monetize and how to create multiple income streams for yourself. So I personally am making this video for accountability purposes because I am leaning super heavily into affiliate marketing because I feel like it's a chunk of my business that I have not mastered yet. And I think I've just grazed the surface in terms of like, okay, I'm in a good rhythm. Them. My audience is familiar with me sharing links on both Amazon and Life Know It, which are the two that I'm focusing on. But I really feel like I could be drilling down and going harder when it comes to like pushing top performing content on Pinterest, sharing collages on you know my Instagram stories of different sale items that are going on, being super regular and consistent on Like to Know It so that I can qualify for collaborations through there. All that being said, I basically have on my computer here pulled up and I'll show you guys on the screen my income breakdown from both affiliate marketing streams, which is like to know it and Amazon. We're basically looking through July right now, which is the first seven months of the year. And my goal with the second half of the year is to really ramp this up and triple, quadruple it, five times it. I know the holiday season will absolutely make these numbers inflated because naturally that's like the busiest shopping time of the year. But I really think if I drill down some really good systems and processes when it comes to like regularly sharing things on like Snow and Amazon, updating my storefront and getting, you know, specific about the content that I'm sharing and analyzing things because right now I'm just kind of throwing up whatever comes to mind versus like actually being in the numbers and looking at analytics. I think that I really can ramp this up. With that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the numbers up to this point and then I'll kind of go into the backstory for you. Basically what I did is I created a spreadsheet breaking it down by month so you can really see how much of a variation there is between how much I am making month to month from these platforms. Now I'll be honest with you I feel like the commission from like to know it is definitely a lot higher because each individual business sets their own commission rate. So let's say Popflex, which I link quite a bit, they sell workout wear, their commission rate might be 10.5%. But then let's say Target, their commission rate might be 7%. Every brand has a different percentage, but what I find is that those percentages are significantly higher through like to know, know it. But the flip side of that is most people, they're gonna look at a link that you link on like to know it, but it is quite difficult to get that conversion in my experience because people don't wanna have to take that extra click. But there might be the occasional shopper who really trusts and values the items and products that you recommend and they're going directly to your like to know it or they might discover you through like to know it and like your vibe and then go to your, your platform. So it is extremely important and I know that it can be incredibly fruitful when you hit jackpot there. So these are the numbers that I have for like to know it right now. You can see definitely like February, March was not that great because I wasn't really putting a lot of focus or emphasis on it. But you can see when I really started to link things more heavily going into April, May, June was a little bit of a dip and then July, it really picked up. So I have faith that this number can continue climbing up. I would love to be pulling in like five to $700 a month from like to know it alone. And I think that's possible come the end of the year, especially being that in January, I still was kind of pulling in some of those holiday numbers. That's why that number looks a little inflated. Full transparency, that's where I stand with like to know it. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Amazon. Amazon operates a little bit differently in that basically Amazon, I'm going to get a chunk of anything that anyone puts in their cart. I believe, I, I don't want to misspeak, but my understanding, and someone in the comments can correct me if I'm wrong, but let's say I put a link up in my Instagram stories and I link these glasses. If someone clicks on this link for the glasses and then they go and they purchase five things on Amazon, doesn't they could put the glasses in their cart and purchase these or not, I'm going to get credit for those five items that they end up purchasing. So that's the really cool part about Amazon is you're getting commission for basically driving people to the actual platform itself. So there is greater opportunity there to bring in revenue because you're getting a commission off of their entire cart. Whereas like to know it, my understanding is I'm just getting commission off of the actual item that I'm linking and whether or not someone purchases that specific item. That being said, the caveat there is yes, you're making a commission off their entire cart, but I find the commission to be incredible 
incredibly, incredibly, incredibly low. Over on Amazon, it's closer to like 3.5%. It's kind of the number that I've gathered when taking a look at the total item of shipped, the revenue for all the shipped items for the month uh, that people have purchased. And then when I calculate how much my take home commission is, it's typically around 3.5%. That being said, I wanna pull up Amazon and just kind of dig into this a little deeper with you guys. At the time of film filming this video, it is July 24th. So these are the numbers that I currently am pulling in from Amazon through July 24th. And you can see down here, each date is broken down. Um, and then you can see how many clicks that I got, what my product conversion is, how many people actually ordered through the product links that I shared, and then how many additional other items that they ordered. And then that's where we get the total items ordered. So it might be that people purchased zero things through my link, like you can see here on 719. People purchased zero things that I shared, but they did order two additional things. So I still made commission off of those two things they purchased. And it just so happened that those two orders combined to $199 of ordered revenue, which means I got a commission off that. So. Here's kind of what I've gathered with Amazon. The more links that you share, the better chance that you have of just getting commission off of those baskets that people are already building. You can see that I really picked up on this leading up to Prime Day and Prime Day I pulled in between July 16th and July 17th around, what is that? A little over $12,000 in sales those two days. That being said, my commission just for those two days is probably gonna end up being only around like three, $400. And that's where I bring you up here where we could take a look at how many clicks I brought in for the month of July thus far, which is around 8,400 clicks, which I'm pretty pleased with. My conversion rate is where I'm really happy. I find the industry standard conversion rate is actually significantly lower than this. And if you can be around 10 to 12%, this is a really, really hot spot to be. And this is putting me in a great place too, to share with a lot of brand partners and say, hey, I have a really good conversion rate. Um, let's work together. But all that being said, this number is not totally complete when it comes to my total earnings because we have to take a look at the actual shipped items versus ordered items. So 873 items were actually ordered, but only 789 of those have actually been shipped. So there are still give or take around 100 items that haven't shipped. So I'm going to predict that through July 24th, my total earnings will be probably in the $550 range, which to be honest with you, if we go back to looking at my income breakdown for all the different months in July, is going to be by far my, my largest month. Now we could credit that to the fact that obviously Amazon Prime Day was happening and a ton of people were clicking and ordering, but this was a really good indicator for me that my audience does trust the things that I share and they are willing to purchase. And I think that if I am a little bit more aggressive and selective with the things that I share by looking at sort of the trend analysis of like what did people order on Amazon Prime Day that really clicked and really worked. I'm averaging about $330 per month when it comes to affiliate marketing. By no means am I able to like live off of that money. <laughs> But it is, you know, I try to look at it as like groceries for the month or half of my, my health insurance or whatever it might be. So as of right now, at the end of July 2024, I am averaging around $161 on Like to Know It and $169 on Amazon. By the end of the year, I'm going to do a follow-up video here. And my hope is that both of those averages are around $500 each so that I can get closer to around the $1,000 mark per month when it comes to affiliate marketing, bringing an extra $12,000 a year, bringing an extra $12,000 to my income. So fingers crossed. If you guys want me to do monthly updates for you, I'd be happy to do that. Drop a comment. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any insight for me. I am new to kind of diving deeper into all of this, but it's really important for me to be transparent and help other people, especially in this industry where we definitely feel very isolated. If you like this style of content, I plan every single month goals. I set deadlines with my team. I have management now, so I have a lot of different moving parts in my business, so I'm happy to do more content like this. If that is of interest, just let me know. My name is Reagan. Thanks so much for joining, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!